Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the problem the longest substring without repeating characters. So given a string as find the length of longest substring without repeating characters. So in this example one, we have a string a b c a b c a c b b. So if we see this is a unique, 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 no character so far is repeating. But when we reach on this a second a which is repeated. So the maximum long like so far we got 3 is the maximum length. Then we will remove this a and then look for this. So now again it's okay 3 and when this v came then v is repeated to this v. So we have to remove this and then c a v is also 3. Another a b b c is again 3 then b c v not 3 this is 2. So the longest substring of non-repeating characters in this string we can get at max 3 length of 3 which is either abc or bca or cab so how we will solve this problem so the one of the brute force solution is like start from the length of the string which is n let's say length of our string is n start take, like check for whether this string is consist all the characters is unique or not so start from this length and then we will go up to the length 1 and we will try all possible substring like starting from this index like 0th index let us it call uh, j and from 0 until we will try where j plus i is lesser than n and we will try all the sub combination of all the length of substring like length of substring start from n and it will go up to uh, 1. So the first one is whole and how we will check whether this string is contain any repeated character is a straightforward you can create a set of these characters so if we create set of these character set of these characters and then we will check if the length of size of the set size of the set is equals to the length of our original string if it is then in that case all the character in our string is unique if it is not equal in that case the string is not. so in first case what we will do we will start for abc abc so the size of the there are only three unique characters so the size of set will be three while the string length size is uh, initially is eight so it's not then we will try for seven of length seven then we will try for length six so continuously we will decrease and when we reach i is three the length of sub string is three then we will cut the first sub string which is a b c which is the unique character. So hence we found the one substring of length n which consists all the characters is unique. Hence we will return the j, the answer i there itself if we find it. So this is the naive approach and brute force solution. So you can pause the video and try it out. Though it is will be give you timeout in lit code because the input size length of here as you can see is 10 raised power 4s. So let's see that what is the time. So this is a code I have written for the brute force solution. As you can see, the first loop for loop is for the length, starting from n and it going till the zero. So it can be one is fine. Then we are trying all possible substring, starting from zeroth index and then moving one by one to until when j plus i is less than what I explained. And then we calling the method helper method check whether this substring is from j to j plus i is unique or not. So this is the one way we can check like creating custom set and fill all the characters and check the size of the set if it is equal to length. Another way if you are a Java 8 fan you can directly write this full code in a one liner method like create the characters of from the string then map to the character object and collect them as a hash set then check the size if it is equal so that says. So now let us see the what is the time complexity of the solution as you can see. We are running two nested for loop here and then we are also running another uh, for loop here inside the uh, this if method call. So the overall time complexity of this solution is O of n cube and the space complexity of this solution will be the maximum of n, n is a number of length of our string or the number of unique characters. So let us say number of unique character is capital M. So it will be minimum of these two basically. So that is it. Now how can we further optimize this solution? So let us understand it. So we will use the two pointer to solve this solution problem in optimal way. What we will do? We will initialize two pointer. One is from i 
from zeroth index as well as j from zeroth index. Then we will move j rightward first. So what we will do? We will check here. Okay, a is this. Then we will also use the set to check whether the repeatedness is occur or not. So we will use a set and add all the characters, unique character into the set. Now when we are on j first character, we will check that whether this set contain no. Then increase j by one j plus plus if set is not contained then increase j by one and add the character at jth index into the set then we will keep doing it then v will be get it at then c will be get it at as soon as our j will become four when j is equals to four uh, it's in index is three basically then we are getting the character a at j equal to three we are getting again character a now if we check into the set and this character is already exists so what we will do in that case we will remove the start removing character from i so we will remove the character whatever character on ith index which is a now we will remove from the set remove it once we remove it this j is still same we will not update in that case we will update our i pointer and then we again check if j is not contain if this is not contain if set is not contain then we will increase j so j will move to the 4 after that so j will become 4 here and we got again v character and this a will be added again in the set so this is the way we will keep adding and removing by the two pointer and then now we need to calculate the longest length so for the longest length whenever we are not finding this character inside the set we will update our longest by the max of either the origin previous longest or the new length so the new length will be as our uh, string contain non repeated character from j to i so that's it so we will keep this in the maximum of this and we will keep this so this is the optimal solution so let's quickly implement the code so for code what we will do we will use a first set of character for checking always whether the set is unique or not if there are and then we will also use the like this is longest will represent the longest length and i from 0 j from 0 and also the n length of our string so let's define all the variable now we will run loop it until i is less than n and j is less than n now we will check if uh, set contains if set contains if set contains as dot caret our jth index if it is then what we will do we just remove set dot remove the character at as dot caret i now after that in else case if it is not we will add the character at j set dot add into uh, add the character as dot caret j and increment j by 1 and then we will also update our and here also we will update i pointer and here we will update the j pointer and then we will update our longest by math dot max of previous longest or j minus i so let's try it and let's return the longest the answer of our non repeated character string so let's compile the code and see so it is we are getting let's try some other custom test cases like empty space empty string and a b c and then a b then a b c and other like take from other example test case this one so let's put it here and the string with same character let's try it out now and see so it is not done and we are getting the expected answer so now we can submit this code and it got accepted so now what is the time complexity as you can see we are running two pointers and both can go in worst case like up to the length nn so this overall time complexity of this solution will become o of 2n and the space complexity is same as our previous solution which is like uh, minimum of length of a string or the distinct number of character in the problem so that's it now as you can see we are running two times can we further optimize it 
yes we can do further optimization so here if you see every time we are increasing i y 1 like whenever we are finding duplicate character at this place we are incrementing i y 1 and removing that character at that index i so instead of that what we will do instead of set we will use now hash map so in hash map what we will do we will map the character character and its index where it is exist in our string so that's it this is first we will keep our map here in that way fashion and now again we will iterate this string using two pointer itself again i and j but we will run only j pointer and i we will update whenever we find the duplicate so let's say first we got a so we will add a at g index 0 then we will add b at index 1 then we will add c at index 2 now when j is 3 and our i is still 0 and now character we are processing which is a and which is our map is contained so in that case what we need to do we will update our i directly jump after that character or jump the next so instead of like marking the index of this character whatever exact index in our string we will add plus one so that when we jump i we will just get after the incremented one so we will add one over here one 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 every time so we will add j plus one instead of j so we will update our i i will be like map dot get if it is content get the jth character index or like there is can be the cases let us say if i have a string a b and uh, let us say c yeah c then d and here it should be c and then v so what will happen in that case our map will be let us say i create map a is at 1 then v jump on 2 c jump on 3 and d jump on 4 then again we found out the c so in that case our i is initially here at 0 this will be get the jump from this index so now new i is at here which is at 4 uh, it should be 3 actually 1 2 3 jump at 4 yeah it's fine it should be so this from the c 3 it should be 3 actually so we jumped here and now we got again another b so the b is, is still present in our map but the jumping is 2 which is less than the current i so if we take directly this that will give us wrong so in that case that because of that we will take the max of previous i or the new jump from the character index so that's it only the concern once we get every time then we will find out the length longest so longest will be always we will take either the longest or the j minus 1 j minus i and the plus because we are keeping one i ahead so this is the another solution so if you see here is the code for that using the hash map so first we created a map then we initialize the variable same as our previous solution now we just iterating for the j index and every time we are checking if the map contains the jth character then up jump i to the next uh, index for that characters or the maximum of or i previous i then here we will put the character j plus 1 as i explained so that we can easily jump on the next uh, index and update our longest y j minus i plus 1 so the reason of i like initially i will be 0 let us say example here a b c d a b so our i is 0 and j will be here till here and till here we calculated already 3 so initial j is 0 we added here and we are increasing j later so that is the reason we are doing here plus 1 if you can increment first and then find out then you can do that so this is the second solution and here you are just running simply o of n and the space is again same if you like the solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching